Welcome back to Library Chess YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make a puffy sleeve, also known as a leg of a mutton sleeve. It's very simple to make the variation of this sleeve from a regular sleeve is there is from the upper part of the sleeve up to around here there is a kind of gathering puffiness around that area. So this is a half scale sleeve. It means this is just half, it's not a full sleeve. A basic sleeve and i already have a tutorial on how to draft a basic sleeve it's a long sleeve that is why it's this long so you need to get your basic sleeve pattern here so now let's get to work the first thing i'm going to do this is the underarm area of the sleeve i'm going to connect it to form a straight line okay to so here so this is my underarm for my sleeve okay so now depends on how many we will be, we'll be using slash and spread method for this sleeve now it depends on how many slashes that you wish how many puffiness that you wish to have depends on the number of slashes that you'll be making so now after this my underarm i'll be going down about three or four inches depending on what you're going for you can have like two slashes maybe two inches and four inches but I'm just okay with one slash. I'll just choose three inches to be like in between, and then I'm going to make that into a straight line also. So I have two slashes now. I have one. I have one for my underarm, and I have the second one three inches away from my underarm. So now I'm going to be making another slash, and to do this, I'm going to measure this ample curve that I have here, and I have around ten inches. So half of that will be five inches and the five inches i'm going to mark it here and then i'll connect it in a slanting form to my underarm line like this so which means i'll be having three slashes for this one two and three so after this i'm going to take my scissors and then slash it open remember this is half of my sleeve so you cut through but not completely just leave a little tip there so i'm slashing the three lines and like i said if you want more puffiness you can add more slash line to your sleeve but this area is okay for me it depends on what you're going for so now that i've slashed it i'm going to grab a fresh paper and i'm going to spread it on the paper so now i have a fresh pattern and i've placed my basic sleeve on it so now it is left for me to start slashing to start spreading my slash lines so now the amount of spread that you have depends on how big you want your puff to be so for me now i think i'll be going with maybe two or three inches spread so if i'm going with three inches spread i'm just going to place my tape measure and then one is, is three inches i'm going to so now once i get my three inches i'm going to fold it with a tape and i'm going to do that so i've spread this by three three inches i remember that i'm following my this is like the center from is a straight is this midpoint between the sleeves so this place has to be straight okay let me put it okay so you need to make sure that this place if you don't have a pattern that is still straight and you may want to draw a straight line before you place your pattern so that it will guide you now i have three three inches distance between each of my slash lines now i'm going to make this into a straight line the last one so that she guide me on how to draw my arm redraw my arm oak off so now that i have this as a straight line i'll go up here by three inches or four inches depending on how big you want it to be let's just go by maybe three and a half inches and then from here i'm going to redraw my arm oak off to join this point so i have this you can use a curve for this or just use a free hand so now that i have this my pattern is ready and i can cut it out but at this point if you don't have seam allowance on your part on your basic slip pattern you may want to hide that before you do your cutting so now i'm going to cut this house following this 
now remember all the spreading that we did is just on this upper part the lower part of the sleeve is not involved so i'll still maintain what i have on the lower part and then from here i'm going to follow the new shape that i have for my sleeve and this pattern already has slim allowance so that's why i'm not having any slim allowance so this is the pattern that i have on my sleeve and this is what i'll be placing on my fabric to cut out my sleeve and always remember that this has to be cut on fold this place for you to have a full sleeve remember this is just half of the sleeve so for you to have a full sleeve you have to make sure that your fabric is on fold when you place this side on it so i'm going to bring in my fabric now and then cut it okay so i'm using this leftover scooper fabric and like i said this place is on fold you can see it's open this place has to be on fold and then the part that i indicated on fold on my pattern i'm going to place it on it and then cut out this shape that i have okay i'm going to cut out my shape but before you cut out your shape remember when we, when we first drew this uh, this pattern we have our under we have our underarm area to be this okay the gathering that i want to do i want it to stop at my first slash line the first slash line the diagonal line before my underarm area which is here so i'll be notching that on my fabric which means all my gathering will start from here all the way to the starting point here the garden will not reach this side because that is what i want if you want to gather up to your underarm area is also okay you can do that but for me i want my garden to start from the start starting point at the center here up to where a, a line before my underarm so you need to note that on your fabric when you cut it out so i'm going to cut this out now so i've cut this on my fabric now and then i've made my notch where i want my gathers to stop here so when you open it up this is what you have so now it's like this when it's open i'm going to hem the lower part here like this and remember it's a scuba fabric it doesn't feel frail so i'm just going to fold it in once then after hemming it i'm going to sew in the sides of the sleeve together like this before i run my gather stitch on the upper part up to my notch area okay so i hemmed it on the down part and i also shaped it on the sides with my seam allowance that i left and i went i had to run a gather stitch from my notch here to the other notch on this side so i'm going to turn it out now and the sleeve is looking like this and the next thing now is to drag my gathers to form my actual so when you're dragging your gathers be guided that you still store this part to your ham hole so it has to be to the size of the ham hole that you're working with you won't drag too much or so let's just drag and your ham hole will be your guide i'm just going to pick one of it like this and then i'm going to drag it to form like a gather gently so that my thread doesn't cut okay so now i've gathered it as you can see what it's looking like and this is what the sleeve is looking like now it's pencil on this area and then puffy around here so now i'm going to take it to the mannequin so that we can see what the fit looks like okay you can see it's very simple to make okay so this is what it looks like on the mannequin you can see this is the gathered area i just placed it on it you know you are going to be sewing this to your ham all area and i said you need to work with your ham hole measurement so that it will guide you on the amount of gathers that you will do and you can see how full it is on this area and then it is just pencil down on the other area it's very simple to make and it's very lovely so let us know which outfit you like to attach this kind of sleeve to in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel if you haven't 
and and click on the notification bell so that I get notified every time I upload a new video. See you in the next one. Bye.